You can turn the switches on and off as much as you like, but since the bulbs are in the other room, you won't be able to see them as you flip the switches. Then you only get one shot to go down the hall and label the bulbs correctly. So how would you figure out this problem? The truth is you should be able to figure it out just as easily in your couch as if you were in this room. Now while you think it over, we brought in some volunteers. Four are in their early 20s, and four are 45 and older. We let them duke it out head to head. Who do you think will have more success figuring it out? Rob, are you ready to try this? I am. Go to town. Let's see what happens over here. Put two on and uh, uh, one. No, put one. No, why would I want to put? Let's see what's uh, one. This no, put three on. Put one. I don't know. Just put two. You're just put guessing. Two and three point. down. Yeah, I have no idea. Rob is having a tough time with this challenge. Do you think everyone will struggle, or will some players have a flash of brilliance? Can I have any hints? No hints. I'm going to shut this one off. I'm thinking if I leave one and three, no, because I don't know what order they're in. <laughs> uh, well, can I go look at the bulbs now? If you think that gives you enough information to label all of them, then yes. So what are you going to turn on, anything? All right, I'll just put two and three on for now, and then... And then you'll go and guess yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Okay. <laughs> Do you think the older brain's experience and wisdom will lead to victory? Or will our young brains demonstrate creative outside-the-box thinking to crack this? This is one or two. I don't know. This one's warm. So this one is number three. This guy's on the right track. Do you think the others are getting any bright ideas? 100%. Is that right? If I'm wrong, I'm just wrong. I think I got it. It looks good. Before we reveal which team won, we're going to reveal the solution. Were you able to figure out how to correctly label each bulb? All you have to do is turn on two of the switches. Leave both on for about a minute. Then turn one off and go into the other room. One bulb will be on. One will be off. The third bulb will be off, but still warm. Do you think you know which team won this final contest? And the winners of our light bulb challenge are the older brains. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah. Like a fine wine, you just get better with age. Surprised? Some might expect younger brains to win this challenge using what's called fluid intelligence. I got it. A skill generally thought to peak while you're younger that helps you solve novel problems and get to the bottom of things. Yet only one of our younger players got it right. You do not need to pay attention in science class. However, three of our older brains solved it correctly by relying on crystallized intelligence. That's the ability to use knowledge and experience acquired over time to solve problems, a skill that improves with age. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to figure it out. That's not helpful. <laughs> With the older brains taking this last challenge, that makes our final score three to three. So it looks like the title for the Battle of the Ages will have to wait. But that doesn't mean you have to wait to keep your brain sharp. You know, this might look like I'm exercising my body, but I'm also helping my mind. You see, cardiovascular exercise is a great way to increase blood flow to the brain. And so is trying new things, like driving a different way to work, or brushing your teeth with your opposite hand, or checking out all the cool games on the Brain Games website. You know, it's never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. Come here, Rusty. Come on, come on. Go get it. Oh, you caught it. Oh, you're so cute. Go, go. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a numbers guy. I spent the last 10 years working with all kinds of data, using it to help people improve their lives. Actually, the odds of you getting hit by a bus are only about one in four million. But here's a number that really makes an impact on your life. 78. It's the average US life expectancy. But there are things you could do to live a lot longer. Scientists now believe that your genetic makeup accounts for only about 25% of your potential life expectancy. That means 